Louisville Water Company is trying to ease concerns about a toxic plume of chemicals making its way to Louisville following a train derailment in Ohio. WRKY's Drew Gardner joins us live in the studio with what we know about the safety of our drinking water. Drew. Well, Vicki, while this train derailed more than a week ago and about 370 miles away, people have been raising concerns about whether any of those toxic chemicals could make their way down the Ohio River to our area. They started gaining so much traction, the water company decided to address those concerns today head on. Louisville's drinking water undergoes about 200 tests a day. The bodies of water that feed into that water supply are also under constant surveillance, including the Ohio River. There's been concerns about toxic chemicals flowing down the river following this fiery train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio on February 3rd. We have an extensive monitoring network for organics detection in the Ohio River at various points all along the river basin and that network is detecting low levels of chemicals associated with the release from the train derailment. After the derailment, residents were ordered to evacuate when authorities decided to release and burn five tankers filled with vinyl chloride. Chris Bobe is the water quality manager at the Louisville Water Company. He says so far, those chemicals have not been detected. What we are seeing is really low levels of a compound called butyl acrylate. Butyl acrylate is an ester, and esters are known for imparting very um, strong odors to the water. At higher levels, butyl acrylate will give off a floral or fruity smell. Right now, Bobe says the levels are hundreds of times below what's considered to be toxic for humans. But it's something they will continue to watch closely as the plume moves downstream. Our best friend is the river itself. Um, it's a pretty thriving ecosystem and handles its own problems. And some of the data that we're seeing coming out from upstream utilities is encouraging, showing that it is degrading as it comes down river. Now, once the plume does arrive in Louisville, the water will again be tested and treated and then tested again over the next se several weeks. Right now, that plume is still in the West Virginia area and will take a while to get here. So for now, the water here remains safe to drink. Vicki.